Alrighty, now we're at the point where we're going to do the three angle valve job and now we're going to explain the process of what we're going to do. Anyway, uh, a lot of these uh, heads that come from Brazil or Mexico or whatever, the, all they have is a one angle valve job, just a 45 on it. That's it. You know, it's just to seal them up and uh, done. Anyway, that's a 45 degree angle on the exhaust and the intake. And uh, anyway, this is a set of 041s. These are have these seats can accept a 40 millimeter intake valve, uh, but the factory gave you with a 39.9 anyway and a 32 exhaust. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind a 60 degree angle. A 60 and then a 30 a very light 30 not a heavy um, and uh, then a 45 so your 60 is your flow that that's what really brings everything out makes the head work a lot better so uh, my valve jobs even though it's a street car it's still sort of on the racy side so compared to some people you know so never had any trouble never had one come back and uh, anyway, it tells you where you need to put your 60 degree angle. So anyway, you, you go in between the valve right here. And I already have it set up. So basically, the two points here, it's hard to see this one because anyway, your 45, you want it almost, me uh, anyway, I almost want it to the ragged edge of the valve. Maybe a little bit up, but not, you know, uh, anyway, I mean, uh, my stuff, I, you know, so anyway, I'll show you. Uh, but this is where you got to set this first on the valve to uh, get your, uh, your starting point. And then, of course, you're going to go here and you have to see if you see, okay, if you watch this, that's your 45 right there. I already put a slight 60 on it already, but anyway, I'm going to bring the 60 all the way out to in between these two points right here. Okay. So anyway, so alrighty, let's see it in action. I always grind my seats with WD-40, uh, uh, on all seats, but, uh, I will explain that too, that the Volkswagen seats that come in these, the intake especially, are very soft. So if you don't put any cutting fluid, what will happen is it'll catch a piece of steel on here and then you want to stop because uh, that'll put a big uh, valley or ridge in the seat and you don't want that. So anyway, spray WD-40, right down. And uh, I don't use any spring like, you know, some of the Sioux ones. I, I use my hand, you know, just to actually, you know, relieve the pressure. So. Let's see if we're picking up any steel. Nope. All good. So I need my air. see that okay see we're still kind of far off so got a little bit more no transfer no metal transfer onto the stone uh, you notice how I'm regulating the uh, the uh, drill motor? Yes. Uh, that's because if you were to give it just full speed, more than likely it will transfer metal onto the stone. So I regulate it, it to come down, get it to torque, so it actually you know cuts at a lower speed, and it seems to cut a lot faster that way. Okay. Almost. 
almost there. A little bit more. I'm going to take it up here. I'm going to dress the stone. 60 degree angle. Never hesitate to dress it because a flat surface is what's going to give you the true, uh, true, real good valve job. If you leave it and where it has a big divot in, in the stump, that's not, that's not correct. So that, that's no good. You don't want that. The soft stones seem to take a little bit, a little bit longer. Yeah, when they're a little bit harder. get way there it's ever so slightly in between the two points that are on this uh, old-school measuring stick so <laughs> all right if, if you want to talk that <laughs> anyway, uh, okay uh, yeah. all righty we're about to start the next angle and which it's going to be a uh, 30 30 degree it's a top top angle it goes on the very top of the seat all right go i was going to show you put very lightly here You look at the that's the angle I just cut right here that's your 30 okay you don't want to go too deep on that if possible you know just enough to break you know break uh, the original uh, top cut and then uh, anyway so it merges down into the 60 and then your 45 the end the end 45 degree angle is going to go right in between Right in between the 60 and the 30, right on top, right there. So, all right. All righty, now we're ready for the uh, 45 degree the ceiling degree, basically. And normally, you know, we'll put a little dicum on it, very lightly, all the way, 360 degrees around the seat. And it shows the mark. So. You can use a marking pen too; that works as well. But if you have dicum, it's you know, Seems to be yeah. easy. All righty. And then get forty five degree on the stone. Okay. Always put a little 
because these seats are soft. Uh, even with a 45 degree, it's, it still could possibly transfer metal onto the stone. You don't want that. So, ever so slightly. Just a little bit more. see see your 45 right there that's where your valve is going to seal right there okay so, so anyway uh, and rule of thumb a lot of people are you know uh, uh, are different on the width of that that uh, that 60 or excuse me that 45 uh, I mean that's uh, I mean, a guesstimation, that's right around anywhere from 40 to 60 thousandths wide. Yeah. So. All right. Anyway, that's, you know, you can make them, you know, a lot of, some people make them thinner, some people make them wider, but that, that's fine. That'll work on a street car, no problem. And uh, anyway, you're good to go. That's, this is a true performance valve job. This is what it takes. Uh, there's a few other little items that I'm going to do, uh, like this ridge right here. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to blend that. I'm going to put a blend valve in here and we're going to blend that edge right there. So I'm blend the whole thing, not totally fluff the whole chamber, but yeah, at least get rid of this ridge. So anyway, okay. Alrighty.